It's Friday, and you know what that means, a brand new episode of Friday Night Evolution. I'm your host, Dylan Smith, the voice of SWF Pro Wrestling, and tonight we've got a very special show in store for you all, and it is our 200 subscriber special. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to miss any of this action. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to see when we're coming back on. And in tonight's opening matchup, it's going to be the chosen one, Alex Jackson, going up against Ron Black to see who's going to fight in the main event tonight for the television championship. Who's going to come out on top? Let's head to the ring and find out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 232 pounds, the chosen one, Alex Jackson. You see Alex Jackson making his way to the ring to go up against Ron Black in their tie-breaking matchup. These two gentlemen have traded wins against each other since making their debut weeks ago in the SWF. And with tonight's matchup, they will be fighting for the opportunity to go to tonight's main event to take on Perfect Pitch Kenny Mitch for the SWF World Television Championship that Mitch won last week in the Battle Royal. We see Alex Jackson absolutely razor sharp focused inside of the ring ready and waiting for Ron Black to come down that ramp so they can get to fighting when that bell rings. Folks, we see Ron Black making his way down to the ring, having some new ring entrance music going, kind of bopping to the beat, jumping over the steps. And we see him getting ready to go into battle once again with Alex Jackson with the title shot opportunity on the line in this matchup. Is he going to be able to repeat the last victory that he got over Jackson in their first blood matchup? Or is Jackson going to come away with the win tonight? Only time will tell and we'll find out as soon as that bell rings. Alright folks, getting ready to start this match off. Jackson waiting in the ring and it looks like Ron Black charging in, but Jackson trying to shut down on him, but Black raining down some granite pound, but Jackson reversing out of it, throwing some hard shots of his own. Referee having a hard time trying to split these two men apart. Ref talking to Jackson, signaling to Black goes for the bell, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ron Black comes charging into Jackson. Jackson with a tiger spin lariat taking down Black at the start of the bell. Jackson grabbing Black from behind. Hits the snatch and grab suplex to take down Black, but Black getting back up to his feet. Jackson and Black locking up with each other. Black hits an Irish whip against the ropes. Sends Jackson flying with a backdrop, kicking him while he's down, stomping away on his chest. Oh, but Jackson gets the surprise roll up going for the cover one, but no, it's not enough to take down Black. Black comes charging into Jackson, but Jackson dodging out of the way, firing off shots and kicks to Black. Going for the tiger spin lariat, but gets met with a right hand combination by Black. Black dropping him with that last one. Black stomping down on the left arm of Jackson. Jackson rolling out of the ring, Black not too far behind. Hopping over the steps to get around to his SWF rival. Both men locking up on the outside as Black gets grabbed and rolled back inside of the ring by Jackson. Jackson dodging the Larry attempt by Ron Black, getting him spun around. Has Ron up onto his shoulders, carrying him over to the corner, getting ready to hit him up 
and hits the snake eyes on the top turnbuckle. Black collapsing down in the bottom corner. And Jackson getting fired up, telling the crowd, here we go. Comes running in and hits the Bronco Buster on the black in the corner. That's a move I haven't seen since the 90s, ladies and gentlemen. Jackson grabbing up on the black from behind, sends him flying over to the opposite side of the ring with an Irish whip. Closing in on to Ron Black, but Black fires back off with an elbow shot. Pin hits the code breaker to take down Jackson. Jackson slow to get back up to his feet, getting helped up with some assistance by Ron Black. Black sends him over to the corner. Ah, he collides with the referee. Jackson getting lit up with the knee shot, and Black has him up, stalling vertical suplex, but no, Jackson drop kicks him from behind, sends him face first into the bottom turnbuckle. Jackson lighting up Black, spinning elbow shots, coming off the ropes with some speed, running Lariat, taking down Black. Now Jackson has Black's hand and arm, arm and leg, excuse me, dragging him back to the middle of the ring. And we see Jackson at target lock getting some speed. Flying to the outside over the top rope. Taking down Black on the outside. Jackson with some high flying offense tonight here, ladies and gentlemen. Jackson getting Black back up on his shoulder. But Black chopping the legs out from underneath of Jackson on the outside. Referee's outside count is at three. Black gets back inside of the ring. Jackson making his way through. Ah, it looks like Black went high and Jackson went low. Both men barely missing each other. And Jackson lighting up Black with the kicks on the outside. And Black grabs Jackson, sends him chest first into the steel ring steps. Getting him back up to his feet now. Both men locking up. Jackson goes flying across the arena by Black. Black gets back inside of the ring. Jackson starting to get back up to his feet now. Black telling him to get back in this ring. Jackson meeting Black on the outside at the count of four. Jackson gets rolled inside of the ring. Ron Black staying right on top of him. Both men locking up. Black sends Jackson flying around into a shoulder check to take him down. Slamming him back and neck first into the ring mat. Stomping away on Jackson. Black is absolutely determined tonight to go after the television title. Black hits a quick fire DDT onto Jackson. But we know Jackson's pretty damn determined as well after that pre-match assault between both men. Nasty looking middle rope drop kick from Ron Black. Black driving Jackson once again into the mat. Oh, and he's setting up for that punt kick, the same move that won his match the last time these two fought. The punt kick connects. Black grabbing onto Jackson's arm and leg, dragging him around the ring. Is Black going to go over the cover? He does. Referee gets into position. One, two, but no. Jackson kicks out at two. Black cannot believe the punt kick that won him the fight before. Could not get the job done as Jackson boots Black off the top of him. Comes in ready with a right hand shot. And we see up next, it's John Uso versus the Reaper in a tables match. Jackson with a nasty looking spinning elbow shot. Setting up and hits the Kamagoye knee shot. Jackson scrambling to go for the cover of one, but no, it wasn't enough to take down Ron Black. Middle rope moonsault by Jackson now. Jackson getting a comeback offense right here now. Tries to go for the right hand shot, but Black fires off one of his own, but Jackson blocks his right hand shot. Both men trading shots in the middle of the ring. Jackson sends Black flying into the corner, hitting the body shots. Sends him flying through the middle rope. We see Jackson going out to the outside of the ring. Baseball slide drop kick under the bottom rope. Beautiful offense on display here tonight in the opening match of Friday Night Evolution. Jackson getting Black back up to his feet. Both men locking up. Jackson rolling around Black. Cracks him with a super kick. Oh, God, that looked like it had to hurt. Jackson stomping down on the Black's back. Posing, flexing up on the crowd, stomping down once again. Jackson getting Black back up to his feet. Black gets sent chest first into the guardrail, but dodging out of the way. Tries to go for the pump kick attempt, but Jackson was able to dodge that one as well. These two men know each other's moves so well. Oh, God, nasty brain buster by Ron Black on the outside. 
Jackson getting whipped shoulder first into the guardrail. Referee's outside, count is at six. You don't want to see this kind of matchup end in a count out. Black getting sent shoulder first into the guardrail this time. The outside count is at seven. Jackson, knowing what the count is at, getting back inside of the ring at the count of eight, and Ron Black close behind. Gets grabbed by Jackson, though Jackson spins him around. Has him up onto his shoulders, carrying him over to the corner. Getting ready to set up and hit the snake eyes once again. Black collapsing in the corner. Jackson getting fired up. Are we about to see another Bronco Buster? And there it is, the second Bronco Buster of this match. Alex Jackson adding insult to injury here, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Ron Black back up to his feet. Hits a running Larry to take down Jackson. Jackson getting kneed all to hell in the face. Ron Black circling around Jackson. Cracking with a hard forearm shot to the upper back. And a driving right hand by Ron Black takes down Jackson and it looks like Black is setting up for the kill shot here. Jackson getting picked up. Lumbar check connects, Ron Black goes for the cover. Is this gonna be it? One, two, but no, Alex Jackson kicks out at two. Good God, what's it gonna take? Ron Black getting Jackson back up to his feet now. Hits the midsection kick, driving that forearm shot to the back once again. Tries to go for the stomp on the ground. Jackson barely missing that spinning elbow shot. Gets cracked in the back and stomped on his legs. But Jackson hits a Luthez press, raining down some ground and pound on Ron Black. Black getting back up to his feet now. Jackson getting the double underhooks. Oh, double underhook. Lung buster by Alex Jackson going for the cover. One. Two, but no, Ron Black kicks out at two. These men have hit each other with every single shot that they've got. Black taking down Jackson with the running lariats. Dodging the right hand, hits a heel kick to take down Jackson, going for the cover, is this gonna be it? One, two, but no, Jackson denies Ron Black. Black looking absolutely furious right now, getting Jackson picked back up to his feet. But Jackson fights back, kicks him in the midsection, tries to go for a right hand shot, but Black catches him, fires off some right hands of his own. Both men trading shots as Jackson gets launched up into the air with a back body drop. Black raining down the shots onto Jackson, but Jackson has Black by the neck, has him up. Nasty spinning cutter by Jackson. Tries to go for the stomp down, but a running DDT by Ron Black takes down Jackson. Jackson gets the surprise roll up on a black. One, ah, I don't think I've ever seen a surprise roll up work here in the SWF so far, but that looked like it might have been the closest one yet. Jackson, clutch suplex onto Ron Black and still keeping the hold in. Hits him for a second time. Dear God, the strength on display by the chosen one gets him up for the third. Jackson firing off the right hand shots. Looking absolutely hellacious with his offense so far. Black on the outside getting back inside the ring now. Jackson and Black locking up with Black getting the advantage, carrying him up onto his shoulders this time. Paying back the double over snake eyes that he'd given him so far in this matchup. And Black hits a sit out power bomb with some ropes assistance. And he takes a leg folding Jackson over like a lawn chair. And it looks like Black's setting up for the kill here. What's he planning to hit? Sends Jackson up. The lumbar check connects once again. Jackson getting dragged around by Ron Black. Is Black going to go for the cover? Pulling him away from the ropes to prevent the rope break. He goes for the leg. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match. And moving on to tonight's main event to fight for the SWF World Television title is Ron Black. Now Black has broken the tie up of wins between him and Jackson and is going to fight for the title in the main event. Congratulations, brother. You had one hell of a win here tonight in the 200 subscriber special of Friday Night Evolution. We see Ron Black excited, knowing what he's just accomplished here tonight. Tight breaking up against Alex Jackson. Jackson showing respect to Ron Black, going for the handshake. 
Black reaching up. Oh my god! Jackson with a nasty low blow taken down from Black with the dick kick. Oh god. I knew Jackson was pissed for losing this match, but I didn't think he was that pissed. Oh man, hell of a way to end a fight. And folks, in our next match, it's going to be an absolute brawl. We've got John Uso going up against SWF Newcomer the Reaper in a tables match. Which of these two men are going to walk away with the win here tonight? We're going to go to the ring and find that out right now. The following is a tables match. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 245 pounds, John. Folks, last week when we saw John Uso in the SWF Television Title Battle Royal, he was so close. He was the second to last man inside of the ring before getting eliminated by Kenny Mitch for Mitch to win the television title. And in the process of that, he eliminated his opponent here tonight, the Reaper, by tossing him over the ropes. But is he going to be able to repeat that same success in this fight against Reaper tonight in this tables matchup, or is the Reaper going to get his revenge? There he is, folks. John Uso's opponent for tonight, SWF newcomer The Reaper, in his first official singles match here in the SWF. We know Reaper definitely had a chip on his shoulder after getting eliminated after having a very dominant display in the Battle Royal last week against John Uso and all the other men in that match. And looking to get some revenge after being eliminated by Uso, specifically called to the management and the bookers that he wanted this fight tonight to be a tables match. Is he going to be able to get his comeback against Uso, or is Uso going to deny him once again? We're going to be ready to find out when that bell rings. All right, folks, getting ready to kick this match off. John Uso and the Reaper. There goes the bell, and Uso comes flying in with a running neck breaker onto the Reaper, stomping him down while he's out. Reaper getting back up to his feet. Uso taking advantage, grabbing him by the neck, dropping him with a hard right hand shot, stomping on him while he's down. Reaper unable to defend himself so far in this match. Uso grabbing for the table first in this match. 
Sliding it up under the ring where the Reaper is ready and waiting and back up onto his feet, but gets cracked back down with a headbutt. Uso getting Reaper back up. Reaper firing back off a right hand shot after blocking the right hand attempt from Uso. Has him in a crossbody hold and sends him chest and neck first onto that top rope. Both men back up to their feet. Reaper locking up with Uso. Uso getting carried over to the ropes. Shades of last week as Reaper has him up. Good God, just tossing him like an old bag of trash against the ropes. Sends him flying over the top. Looking like a little bit of revenge for last week for Reaper getting eliminated by Uso in the Battle Royal. Both men back inside of the ring. Reaper trying to grab Uso from behind, but he fires off a rear elbow shot. Reaper gets sent over to the corner by Uso, but fires off an elbow shot in the oncoming Uso. He's got the double underhooks in. Nasty Tiger suit. I don't even know what the hell to call that. It looked like he was going for a pedigree, but flipped it into a power bomb. Beautiful move by the Reaper. Reaper going for the table now, sliding into the ring. We've got two tables in action now. But Uso comes flying in with a running neck breaker, stomping down onto Reaper's face, but both men collide as Reaper charges in. Uso getting Reaper up onto his shoulders, but Reaper able to get out of the hold and knocking the legs out from underneath of Uso. Uso getting picked out by Reaper. Reaper with the nasty left hand, right hand combinations. Gets him up and hits a choke bomb onto Uso. Reaper getting the table in hand, setting it up, waiting and ready for Uso to get back into the ring. And folks, I gotta tell you, I'm excited because this is the first of two tables matches here tonight because in the upcoming tag team tournament round four, it's gonna be Domination versus the War Dogs in a Tornado Tag Team Tables match. Oh, wait a minute, nasty drop down cutter by Reaper onto Uso. Reaper sends Uso flying over to the corner, grabbing him up. Oh, wait a minute, are we gonna see? Ah, it looked like both men kinda lost their grip on each other. Uso dropping Reaper with a nasty right hand shot. It looked like it had a little extra sting on it from how he was shaking his hand. Uso grabbing Reaper from behind. Are we about to see an elimination? He's got him up onto his shoulders. Sets him up and hits the snake eyes on the corner turnbuckle. Uso seeing Reaper collapse in the corner, picks him up and hits a power bomb. Looked like his ass caught a bit of that table there, stomping down on the lower back of Reaper. Picks him up in a deadlift, power bomb by Uso, Jesus. Going for it once again, so nice, he's hitting it twice with the power bombs. Reaper rolling outside of the ring, Uso sliding out after him, both men locking up on the outside. Uso trying to send Reaper flying, but Reaper able to get out of the hold and knocks the legs out from underneath the Uso once again. Uso gets whipped back inside of the ring by the Reaper this time. Reaper locking up with Uso. Trapping the arm. Ranching it down over his shoulder, picks him up. Back body drop by the Reaper. Uso back up to his feet now, locking up with Reaper. Reaper gets launched into the table. Oh no, are we gonna see an elimination here? Uso tried to go for a running neck breaker attempt onto Reaper, but Reaper just out of the way. Uso carrying Reaper around, sends him flying under the table, knocking the legs out from underneath of it. Folks, you gotta put him through the table, not under the table. And there we are, you see up next, Domination versus War Dogs in round four of the Tag Team Contenders Tournament. Reaper having the table in hand, gets it knocked out by Uso's kick. John Uso sends Reaper around, but Reaper flips him out of the way, kicks Uso, hits him with a right hand shot, running Lariat takes him down. Uso trying to go for a Lariat of his own, comes off the ropes, gets hit with a back body drop by Reaper. Reaper comes in, hits the spine buster onto Uso. Reaper picking up the table, bringing it over to the corner, setting it up. He's got the other table. He looks like he's setting up tables any which way that he can here tonight. Taking a quick breather, thinking about where he's gonna put that table at, setting the legs up. Oh, took a little too long as Uso able to grab him up. Oh no, we about to see elimination. Nasty power slam by John Uso. John getting the table in hand, but it gets knocked out by Reaper. Reaper sends Uso flying over to the corner. Reaper has him up, sends him 
flying back first into the corner turnbuckle, picking him up with a double leg. Sends him back into the opposite side of the ring once again. Reaper on an absolute war pass. Sends Uso flying back first with an Irish whip into the corner. But Uso fighting out with the elbow shot. Reaper grabbing up onto Uso. Uso is firing off an Irish whip into a lariat. Uso getting sent off the ropes by Reaper. Both men locking up. Reaper again sending around Uso, but Uso finally able to catch himself from the momentum. Reaper sends Uso face first into the table. Reaper comes in, standing drop kick through the table to get the win. Ladies and gentlemen, the Reaper wins his singles debut match here on Friday Night Evolution. And you just see that look of hellacious joy on the face of the Reaper after getting a monumentous win and getting some revenge against John Uso here tonight on Friday Night Evolution. And we see the lights have gone out. Are we getting ready to set up for the next match? Oh, wait a minute. No, somehow Reaper has just teleported over to the stage. Not much is known about this young man, but I guarantee we'll be finding out more here in the near future. And folks, up next, it is the last round in the beginning stages of the Tag Team Contenders Tournament, War Dogs versus Domination in a Tag Team Tables match. Who's coming out with the win tonight? Let's hit the ring and find out. Reach for the sky, boy. The following contest is a tag team tables match. And at a combined weight of 556 pounds, Dirty Dog. We see the War Dogs making their way down to the ring for this round four matchup. And we saw last week as well when they made their debut up against Fire and Ice, Hanzo Asashi and Bihan in their tag debut and coming away with a major victory against the Ninja Tag Team. But are they gonna be able to take on one of the SWF OG teams in the form of domination with the Man Bear, Nathaniel Ventfeld, and former world champion Israel Israelievich in this tables matchup here tonight. We're going to find out here soon. See Domination, Israel Israelievich and the Man Bear absolutely fired up for this Tag Team Tables matchup to see who's going to go on to take on the Boucher brothers in the semifinal round of our Tag Team Title Contenders Tournament. Man Bear and Israel Israelievich have been a part of the SWF since the beginning and are looking to get some Tag Team gold around their waists. We're getting ready to start this match off. War Dogs, domination. And here we go. Smith sends Man Bear flying over the top rope. Eli Reed getting grabbed by Israel, but Israel gets stopped by Smith. Smith getting launched face first into the mat by Man Bear, but Israel gets sent out by Eli Reed. Reed going after Israel, picking him up off the ground into a deadlift power bomb. Man Bear teeing off on the Assassin. Coming off the ropes with a flying lariat off the middle rope. The big man goes flying. But Smith takes him down with a spear. Israel kicking away at Eli Reed, taking him down. 
and Israel and Smith. These two men know each other very well. They've fought for the world title multiple times against each other. Smith sends them flying back down to the mat. Man Bear sends Eli Reed spinning around, but Reed fighting out of the back hold with the elbow shot, but Man Bear fights him off with a kick. Israel getting picked up onto the shoulder of Smith and outside, but gets out of the hold and chops the legs out from underneath of him. Man Bear getting smacked while trading shots with Eli Reed inside of the ring. Sends him against the ropes. Trying to go for a release suplex, but Man Bear fights back with a headbutt. Picks up Reed, but Reed fights back with an elbow shot. Neither man giving an inch into the ring, but Man Bear gets ragdolled over and collides with Smith as he gets rolled in by Israel. Man Bear going for the grizzly bomb on Smith, but Smith counters out of it with a backdrop, and Israel dropping the war machine on the outside, getting some ground and bound in on the outside of the ring. Smith going for the table on the outside now, sliding it inside of the ring with the Man Bear ready and waiting. War Machine getting rolled inside by Israel. Israel gets grabbed from behind by Smith. Smith shaking around Israel, just clutching away to Skull and Reed. Setting up for the triple German assault on a Man Bear. There goes the second and here comes number three. Israel comes flying in on the Smith, grabbing him up from behind, cracks him with a hard right hand shot. Eli setting up, waiting and ready to put out the table to get the elimination in this matchup. Throws the table away instead to go back after the Man Bear and we see up next a Falls Count Anywhere rematch against Santana and Zinda Wen. Man Bear gets hit with the F5 by Eli Reed. And we see Smith with the table in hand as Israel Israelovich looking like he's on shaky ground on the outside. Smith playing up to the crowd. Israel getting back inside of the ring. Smith locks up with Israel, cracks him with a hard uppercut shot. Israel getting grabbed by the back of his neck but fights Smith off with the elbow shots. Reed calling for Man Bear to get up, but Man Bear looking like he's unresponsive, so he's going right back after him. Reed up and back down with a power bomb. Israel taking on Smith. Cracks him down with a Superman punch. Beautiful move by Israel. Eli Reed and the Man Bear fighting each other off, but Man Bear and Reed trading each other with shots. Neither man giving an itch. A nasty running lariat by Man Bear taking down the war machine. And Smith just getting lit up in the corner with those forearm shots by Israel. Israel getting Smith up to his feet. Are we going to see an elimination here? Israel gets Smith up. Cracks him down with a knee shot. Man Bear taking on War Machine on the outside by the announcer's table. Smith and Israel colliding on the inside of the ring. Oh, but Smith gets the midsection kick on to Israel. He's got him up for the power bomb. Smith, the strength on display, carrying Israel over. Power bombing him through the table. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match and moving on to the semifinals are Dylan Smith and Eli Reed, the War Dogs, going on. Folks, that was one hell of a fight. You see Smith and Reed celebrating with each other, knowing that they have now moved on to the semifinal round of the tournament. And next time they'll be in action, we'll be against the Boucher brothers. And there it is. Our semifinal bracket has now been decided. Team Blade, Ash and Adam Blade are going up against Leo Uso and Sokoa the Bloodline. And the Boucher brothers, Dylan and William Boucher going up against the War Dogs. It's going to be one hell of a fight to see. And folks, we see a rematch between sisters with Santana going up against Zinda Wen. And a rematch from Zinda getting the count out loss against Santana. But this time, it's Falls Counting. Let's see what happens. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making our way to the ring from Seoul, South Korea, Santana wins. Santana making her second appearance on Friday Night Evolution in a rematch against her sister Zinda after defeating Zinda weeks ago in a count out victory. Is she going to be able to repeat history in a Falls Count Anywhere match or is Zinda going to make a comeback? Korea, Zinda wins. 
Zenda making her way out to the entrance ramp, cannon in hand, firing off shots, lighting up the arena. She is ready to go to war with her sister Santana in this Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Definitely looking to get some revenge against her for beating her. By a count out victory, she was unable to answer the 10 count call from the referee and that ultimately gave the win to Santana and it looks like Zenda tonight is looking for some payback. Alright folks, getting ready to kick this match off. Santana win. Zendo win. Referee signals both sisters in their corner, hits the bell, and we're off. Zenda getting launched with a Hurricane Rana by Santana right out from the jump of the match. Both women locking up. Santana grabbing onto Zenda by the back of her neck, trapping her arm under the top rope, wrenching away on it, doing damage. Zenda gets sent around into a knee shot from Santana. Santana stomping down on the legs, but Zenda back up to her feet. Zenda coming off the ropes. Damn near flying halfway across the wing with a bulldog. Kicking out the legs from underneath of Santana. Drops her to a knee. Running Hurricane Rana to take down Santana. Zenda stomping down onto Santana, getting her up to her base. Kicking her in the face. But Santana right back up to her feet with a kip up. Zenda sends her flying over the top rope. Both women on the outside now. Zenda goes for a right hand shot, but Santana chopping away. Ranching down on the arm, flipping over Zenda. Zenda just getting beaten all to hell on the outside by Santana. Santana sends her flying across the arena, kicking her in the face while she's down, stomping her on her lower back. Remember folks, Falls count anywhere, rules apply, just like we see here. Looks like Santana was able to survive with a one count. Zenda drop kicking her in the back of her head. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, just like we saw as Falls count anywhere, you can go on the inside of the ring or you can go on the outside of the ring. Pinfalls and submissions, and there are no disqualifications. Weapons are at play. Santana gets drop kicked all to hell by Zenda. Zenda squaring up on her sister, getting her back up to her feet. No love lost here between these two family members. Santana dodging out of the right hand, gets the head scissors locked in, goes flying around and sends Zenda flying onto the mat. Zenda getting picked up by her feet. Launched face first into the outside apron. Santana grabbing her from behind, shaking her around, trying to get her dizzy. Ends it off with a Russian leg sweep. But Zenda right back up to her feet. Santana chopping away at her sister's chest. Stomping her down. Rolls her up into a kick into the face. Just absolute brutality from Santana Wynn in this match so far. Chopping away repeatedly at her sister. Zenda getting picked back up to her feet but kicked right back down to her knees. And Santana lighting her up with the kicks. And the... Nasty looking roundhouse to end it off. Going for the cover. Ref gets into position. One, two, but no. Zenda Wen kicks out at two. The fight goes on. Santana. Nasty looking spinning powerbomb onto Zenda going for the cover, but no, it was only a two. Oh, getting met with the knees, trying to go for the shooting star attempt. Zenda firing off a drop kick to take her down from behind. In a swinging neck breaker by Zenda. Both women back up onto their feet. Zenda getting fought off by Santana with the right hand shots. And up next we've got Tug Mukow versus our international champion, Sean Danger in one on one action. And just like we see here, Zenda gets hit with another Russian leg sweep by Santana. Santana getting Zenda back up to her feet. Both women still battling it out with each other. And we see Santana grab the kendo stick from underneath of the ring, just swinging away onto Zenda. Zenda able to dodge out of the way that last impact though. Hits the flying head scissors to take down Santana. 
Santana comes up chopping away. Both women trying to go for drop kicks at the same time. It looked like Santana kind of hurt her lower back a little bit, grabbing at it on the way back up to her feet. Both women back inside of the ring. Zenda runs to the ropes. Nasty looking springboard drop kick to take down Santana. And dear God, she just cleared almost the entire ring with that drop kick. Santana clutching at her legs. Zenda throwing Santana down with the leg lock. Comes off the ropes and another ring crossing drop kick to take her down. Zenda just lighting up Santana on the inside of the ring. Hits her with a nasty elbow shot. Santana just draped against the ropes, getting lit up by Zenda with the right hand shot as she collapses to the floor. Zenda going up to the middle rope. Middle rope shooting star press misses as Zenda barely making it. And Santana just rolling away in time. But Santana getting lit up by Zenda once again. Zenda with the drop kick. Those drop kicks of hers are absolutely deadly going for the cover. One, two, but no. It's another kick out at two. These two sisters have given each other every hard shot that they've got. Rolling jawbreaker by Zenda Wen. And Zenda setting up for the kill. Was she planning to hit? Santana gets turned around. The single leg drop kick connects. She goes for the cover. Ref gets into position. One, two, and a kick out at two. The fight goes on, ladies and gentlemen. Santana fighting with everything that she's got, crawling up back to her feet with the ropes assistance. Ah, Zenda trying to go for that drop kick, but just comes up a little short. Santana gets driven to the mat by Zenda, but Zenda gets her back up to her feet. Zenda sends Santana flying over the top rope. Zenda getting some distance between her and Santana. Santana closing the distance, trying to run in, go for a crossbody, but no. Zenda was able to block it. Both women locking up. Zenda with the Frankensteiner onto Santana. And a arm grab drop kick by Zenda Wen onto Santana goes off. Santana just getting kicked away at while she's down. And that last one, that last one just nasty looking as hell. Oh, but Zenda having the sledgehammer in hand. Backbreaker by Santana. Santana stomping down on the arms and legs of Zenda, trying to do as much damage to her sister as possible. And it's that kind of outside assault that won Santana her debut match against Zenda weeks ago. But Zenda lights up, hits it, spinning powerbomb once again on the outside. One, two. But no, Santana kicks out at two once again. Zenda going for the kendo stick as the weapon of choice this time. Tries to go for the shot, but Zenda gets cross-bodied all to hell by Santana. Santana getting Zenda back up to her feet. Both women locking up. Just raging her into that guardrail face and chest first. But Zenda fighting back off of Santana. Santana gets launched into the guardrail this time by Zenda. Zenda with a nasty drop kick on a Santana, taking her down. Stomping away on the lower back, holding onto that left arm, booting her in the face. And it looks like we've got a cameraman that's got a really bad angle. We can't even see what's going on, but Zenda on top of Santana doing damage, driving those knees, what looks like into her lower back. She's got the kendo stick in hand, trying to go for that kendo stick shot, but Santana gets cracked in the face, and again, oh, the third time, she steals it away from Zenda, cracking her in the back of the stick, and again in the back, the front row audience is getting an absolute sight, ladies and gentlemen. Santana just teeing off on her sister, but Zenda with the Frankensteiner pop-up, going for the cover. But it's not enough because Santana kicks out at two once again. Zenda has the sledgehammer in hand. No oh God, she's raining down this hammer shots onto Santana, telling her to get up to her feet. Santana gets back up, but gets cracked back down onto the mat. And Santana takes down Zenda with a flying cross body splash. Both women back into the feet. Santana chopping and kicking away at Zenda. 
Both women locking up. Santana giving the advantage. Backbreaker onto Zinda. Taking the sledgehammer, sending the hammer shots down onto her sister. And again and again, just raining down those sledgehammers. Zinda fires off a quick left hand, stunning Zinda with the nasty looking poison Rana. Zinda going for the cover onto Santana. One, two, but no, Santana kicks out once again. What's it gonna take for Zinda to take down her sister and get back her victory over her sister? Sends her flying into the ring. Santana back up to her feet, Zinda ready and waiting. Sends her flying over the top rope onto the outside floor. Santana getting back up to her feet. Zenda comes in, grabbing her by the neck and hits a swinging neck breaker. Santana kips right back up to her feet though. Gets whipped back inside of the ring by Zenda. Zenda back inside, stomping down onto Santana's arm. She's got the left hand trapped with that boot. And again, the arm stop hits. And Zenda setting up for the kill. That single leg is coming and it boom goes off. Zenda going for the cover on Santana. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is Zenda Wen. She definitely got her revenge against Santana here tonight and was able to make her comeback victory. Congratulations, ladies. You gave us one hell of a fight. Zenda Wang climbing out to the ropes, playing up to the crowd, hyped as hell that she was able to come back and get a win after her sister stole one from her. Folks, in the next matchup, we've got one-on-one -on -one action featuring Tug Mukau from Mucha Lucha going up against the international champion, Sean Danger, in one-on-one -on -one action. Who's going to come out on top in this match? We're going to head to the ring and find out. When you see Tug Mukau make his way to the SWF arena, you know you are in for one hell of a sight to see. This man has so many moves in his arsenal, you never know what he's going to pull. And he's got a big opportunity tonight up against the international champion, Sean Danger. Is Tug Mukau going to be able to get a potential win over one of our most dominant champions in Danger? Or is Danger going to come out ahead? We're getting ready to see when that bell rings.
And his opponent from London, England, weighing in at 265 pounds, the international champion, Sean Danger. Sean Danger making his way to the SWF arena. That beautiful international championship strapped around his waist like it was tailor made for him. This man is getting ready to come up against Jack Furnace here in the next few weeks or so when we get ready to go into our next pay-per-view, Round Zero. And that's going to be one hell of a fight to see. But tonight, his opponent is none other than Tug Mukow. Is Danger going to be able to take on Tug and take him out? Or is Tug Mukow going to be able to take down the champ? Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to kick this match off. Tug Mukow, international champion Sean Danger. Referee signals both men in the corners, hits the bell, and we're off, and Danger comes running in with a pump kick to take down Tug. Tug gets cracked with a right hand shot and a double axe handle to the back and getting his legs stomped on by Danger. Danger not letting off the gas as soon as the bell rang. Tug getting picked back up to his feet, both men locking up. Tug gets sent flying into the corner with an Irish whip. Danger spearing him through the ropes. And Danger comes rolling up into a rolling drop kick to take down Tug. Tug gets covered by Danger. One, two, but no, Tug Mukow kicks out at two. Kipping right back up to his feet, trying to kick after Danger. Lighting him up with those rapid fire chops. Kicking him in the legs in the corner, chopping away at him in the corner. Grabbing that leg, kicking it over the ropes. And Tug staying right on top of Danger in the corner. He's in a bad spot against Tug Mukow over there. Tug gets sent flying over the top rope to the outside. Danger getting target lock on Tug Mukow, calling for him to get back in the ring. And a drop toe hold leg lock in by Sean Danger. Is Tug going to tap out? He's away from the ropes. He can't get the rope break, but no. Tug rolls over Danger, cracks him in the face a good few times. Danger getting back up to his feet. Tug chopping away at Danger. Danger dodging out of the way. Tug dodging away from the elbow shot and hits a Lucha style arm drag. Danger gets launched over into the corner with an Irish whip. Tug comes flying in with a drop kick to take him down. And Tug with the pendulum drop kick to the chest. Jesus Christ. Rolls over Danger for the cover. But no, Danger able to get their lucky rope break. Tug locking up with Danger, gets him scooped up onto his shoulder, tries to go for the power slam, but Danger chops the legs out from underneath the Tug. Danger grabbing that Tug from behind, spins him around into a hard elbow shot, getting top mount, raining down some ground and pound with those left hand shots. Stomping him in the chest, getting him back up to his feet. Danger has Tug up on the shoulders, the Danger effect connects, he goes for the cover. Ref gets into position, one, Two, but no, Tug Mukow kicks out at two. The fight goes on. Tug rolls out to the outside of the ring. Sean Danger's got target lock. He's picking up some serious speed. Tope Suicida connects. Tug getting back up to his feet, sweeping the legs out from underneath the Danger on the outside. Wildly swinging those right hand shots, trying to connect as much as he can. Gets him up, hits a brain buster on the outside. Looks like that had some extra sting to it. Danger grabbing at the back of his head from the impact. But Danger kicking away at Tug. Both men locking up once again as Tug whips Sean Danger back inside of the ring. Tug playing up to the crowd saying he'll do it one more time. Grabbing up Danger and being as honest as he could ever be. Whips him back inside the ring again. Tug taking the scenic route to get back inside the ring. Danger ready and waiting. Kicking the legs out from underneath the Tug as soon as he got back in. Tug getting gut-wrenched off the ground and into a power bomb. Danger getting top mount, but gets rolled over by Tug. Tug firing off the elbow shots to the face. Tug flipping over Danger. Danger locking up with Tug. Has him by the neck, swings him around. Oh, dear God. Danger with a nasty move going for the cover. 
two, but no, Tug Mukow denies the international champion, folks. You can hit Tug as much as you want and as hard as you want. That man continues to get up time and time again, fighting out a dangerous hold, slamming him chest first into that top turnbuckle, picking him up by the legs into a sit-out powerbomb. Tug Mukow giving the international champion one hell of a fight tonight and a flying crossbody to the outside. Mr. Mukow said, champ, you ain't the only one that can fly high here tonight. Tugs flips over Danger, grabbing him by the legs. Sends that knee into the mat. Good God. Danger getting assaulted in the lower back with that knee by Tug. Tug getting him back up to his feet. Both men locking up. Tug, Uranagi slam on the outside. Both men locking up as Tug whips Danger back inside of the ring. The international champion almost defenseless on the outside. Tug. Grabbing him by the head and slams him with a hard right shot. And again, both men locking up. Tug gets him up. Quick snap suplex by Mukau. Danger getting back up to his feet. Kicking away at Tug's midsection. Both men lock up as Danger sends Tug flying against the ropes with an Irish whip. Pins him around. Swinging neck breaker by Sean Danger. Tug getting back up to his feet. Both men locking up as Danger. Hits a quick release suplex onto Tug, sending him almost through the bottom rope onto the outside. Danger locks up with Tug, but Tug with a beautiful looking drop kick takes him down. Danger trying to crawl back up to his feet using the ropes assistance, but Tug Mukow hits the pendulum kick once again. Kicking down on the lower back, grabbing the leg, assaulting that left knee with the elbows. Tug just relentless in his assault against Danger. Danger trying to roll over, but Tug kicks him in the lower back. You see Tug climbing up to the middle rope, calling for a shot. Tug comes flying with the middle rope Hurricane Rana. Going on to the outside again, stopped by Danger. Danger locking up with Tug, has Tug up. Nasty spinning neck breaker by Sean Danger. Danger getting top mount, raining down those heart right hand shots. And it looks like Tug might have been busted open. Both men back up to their feet. Danger just chopping wildly away, but gets caught with a hip toss by Tug. Tug sends Danger flying back inside of the ring. Danger getting back up to his feet. Referee's outside count is at five. Danger goes high and Tug dodges out of the way going low. It looked like Danger damn near cleared the announcer's table with that tope attempt, but a nasty right elbow takes him down. Tug just absolutely brutalizing Danger on the outside, wrenching down that left arm. Trapping that right hand, driving that knee down onto it. Stomping him on the face. Tug Mukow giving the international champion one hell of a fight here tonight on Friday Night Evolution. Danger with a drop kick to Tug Mukow's face. Tug back up to his feet though. Both men sizing each other up. Scoop power slam by Sean Danger on a Tug Mukow. Referee's outside count is at six. We do not want to see this absolute war between these two end in a count out. Danger having Tug up into a combination blue thunder bomb. Danger getting back inside of the ring at the count of eight. Tug, he's got to get back up. No, Danger resetting the count back down to one. Grabs up Tug from behind, but Tug fights back out with an elbow shot. And Tug giving some payback with a GTS to Danger. Gets him back up to his feet. And Tug grabbing Danger, whipping him back inside of the ring. You see Tug going up to the top. What's he planning on hitting here? Elbow drop from the top connects. Tug rolling over Danger, going for the cover. Has the legs cooked. One, two, but no. Danger kicks out at two. Tug has gotten two counts. Danger has gotten two counts. Both men have hit each other with every last move that they can think of. Danger dropping underneath a tug. Tug gets kicked out from underneath by Danger. 
Butt tug fires off a kick in a dangerous face. Both men. Danger with a clutch suplex gets hit on by Tug. Tug going up to the top rope. Are we going to see the Moo Cow Splash? And the Moo Cow Splash connects. Danger gets covered. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is one half of Mucha Lucha, Tug Moo Cow. The international champion, Sean Danger, had one hell of a fight tonight on his hands with Tug Moo Cow and Tug. Rose to the occasion to take down one of our best champions in the SWF. Congratulations, man. You had one hell of a win tonight. Here is your winner. Tug raising his hands in celebration. The SWF crowd is absolutely ecstatic. Oh, wait a minute. There's the number one contender for the international title. Oh, Jack Furnace lays out Sean Danger from behind after the referee handed him back his belt. It looked like Tug got out of the way of Jack Furnace. The man was like a freight train rolling through. He's got the belt in hand and cracks Sean Danger over the face with it. Telling him I'll see you at the pay-per-view. And you only know what's going to happen when these two men finally meet each other inside of the ring. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a women's triple threat tag team match. Roshni and Mai making their debuts against the Mitch sisters and the Ryan Dungeon. Lily Ryan and Rosa Holmes making her debut. Which of these three teams are going to come out on top? We're going to head to the ring and find out. Roshni and Mai are our newest additions to the SWF women's roster and they're making their tag team debut together here tonight. And we are excited to see what these two women are going to bring to the table here in the SWF. Folks, we see Kelsey and Lauren Mitch, the Mitch sisters, making their way down to the ring. Kelsey getting a major victory over Lily Ryan weeks ago, and Lauren Mitch, the former women's world champion. Are these two sisters going to be a sight to see in the tag team division? We're getting ready to find out. Folks, we see Rosa Holmes teaming with Lily Ryan in Rosa's SWF debut. And Lily Ryan has been a familiar face in the SWF women's division since her debut. She's had a bit of an up and down record 
but she is still a force to be reckoned with inside the ring, and we can only expect the same from Rosa Holmes. We see that Ryan Family Dungeon logo emblazoned on her gear. Knowing that she's a Ryan Family School graduate, we know she's got some skills to back it up. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, all six women are in the ring, and here we go. Rajni going after Rosa Holmes. My, getting laid out by Kelsey Mitch. Lily Ryan taking down Lauren Mitch and Kelsey Mitch at the same time. Lily going after mine now. Rajni gets taken down by Kelsey with a drop kick. Kelsey going for the cover. One, ah, Lily Ryan breaking up the count before can even hit one. Kelsey going after Rajni, setting her up with a snap suplex. Oh, wait a minute. She's going for the three Amigas. There's the second, and here comes number three. And the third connects. Good God, but Rajni back up to her feet. As tall as she is, she is light as ever. My, the first woman in this match to go for a weapon, trying to go for the chair shot, but Lauren Mitch stops her from behind. Lily Ryan dropping Kelsey Mitch on her lower back. Lily grabbing up Lauren, sends her over and lights her up with the running kill shot. Rosa fighting off Maya and Rajni in the corner at the same time, but Maya with a side drop kick to take her down. Maya having Kelsey up on her shoulders, fall away slim. All these women are just going at each other. Just, it's so hard to keep up with who's hitting who and who's slamming who. Lily Ryan gets dumped to the outside. Kelsey. I'm, camera guys, seriously, why are you guys going to be jumping around like that? Come on now. Roshni going after Kelsey. Kelsey gets hit with a face bust from Mai. Lily Ryan going for a bridging pin attempt on Roshni, but Mai able to save her partner. And Mai with a nasty backbreaker on to Lily Ryan. Lauren Mitch going after Rosa Holmes on the outside of the ring. Swing backbreaker by, Kel er, <laughs> by Lauren Mitch. Kelsey going after Lily Ryan on the inside of the ring. Sends her flying over to the corner with an Irish whip. Mai locking up with Kelsey now. Kelsey sends her flying with an Irish whip. It's Irish whips for days, but Lily Ryan suplexing the absolute hell out of Kelsey. Going after Mai on the inside of the ring. Lily, snap mirrors on to Mai, sends her up, hits her with a single leg drop kick. While Rajni on the outside taking care of the former women's champion. Lily Ryan getting hit with a power slam by Mai. She might be little, but she is mighty, but she gets rolled up by Lily Ryan. Referee struggling to find a spot to go for the count, but Mai kicks out at one. Lily Ryan headbutting Kelsey Mitch from behind, taking her down. Takes out Mai with a lariat, and Rajni just putting the boots to the face of the former women's champion, taking her down. The Mitch sisters have been battered in this match so far. My, getting picked up to her feet by Kelsey. Kelsey says her flying over to the ropes. Rosa Holmes with a kendo stick in hand, but gets chopped down by Rajni. And Lily going after Lauren, dragging her down to the floor, stomping her on her arm, and it looks like Kelsey Mitch is coming in to even the odds with a baseball bat. Kelsey chasing Lily over to the opposite side of the ring, stopping Rajni from attacking Rosa. And now Lily has the bat in hand, swinging wildly, but the bat gets knocked loose. All these women are just dogpiling onto each other. My with a stunner onto Lily Ryan. Rajni picking up Kelsey almost eight feet in the air. Michinoku driver from Rajni. 
And Lauren Mitch getting stopped in her tracks. One side by Rajni, the other side by Rosa Holmes. Rajni with a pump kick to take her down. And Rosa with an atomic drop onto Rajni, targeting the legs. Nasty looking drop kick to the midsection. And it looks like Lily Ryan is just flying away around onto the other side of the ring with that kendo stick. But my scissor flying with a release really suplex. Kelsey Mitch laid up against the guardrail. Flying head scissor takedown by Lauren Mitch onto Rosa Holmes. But Rosa getting attacked by Rajni gets her off the top of her with the kick. Nasty stunner by Lauren Mitch onto Rajni. Rosny comes in, trying to go for that drop kick onto Rosa. Rosa getting Rosny hit with the midnight elbow, dropping her down. Lauren Mitch, Lily Ryan, Kelsey Mitch, and Mai all back inside of the ring while Rosa takes down Rosny on the outside. Lauren Mitch going for that dragon sleeper hold onto Lily and Mai having. Oh wait, no, the Mitch sisters tandem dragon sleeper holds. But Mai and Lily Ryan both fighting out of it at the same time. Lily Ryan with a pop up. Hurricane Rana to take down Lauren Mitch. And Kelsey goes for the cover on Mai, but Lily Ryan breaks up the count before it can even begin. Kelsey gets Lily up and gets ready to hit the three amigas. There goes the second. And get ready for number three. Here it comes. Three amigas connects. Rosa Holmes has the steel chair in hand on the outside. Slamming away onto Lauren Mitch, but Mitch able to knock it out of her hands. My attack getting knocked out of hell by Kelsey Mitch on the inside of the ring while Lily Ryan getting blasted in the chest and ribs with those hard knee shots from Rajni. Lauren Mitch taking down Rosa Holmes on the outside of the ring. Kelsey Mitch with that two-piece kick combo taking down Mai going for the cover. One. But again, Lily Ryan making the save. Kelsey Mitch getting dragged back onto the ring mat. L Lily stomping away on her arm. Lauren Mitch stomping away on to Rosa Holmes on the outside corner. And we see up next, it's King Leon going up against the debuting Stanley Savko. And we see Mai on the ground getting back up to her feet. Lily back up on the top rope. Rosa Holmes just kicking the absolute hell out of Lauren Mitch. Kelsey going over to give her sister some backup. Getting some ground and pound in on Arajni. My Patak just laying out Lily Ryan on the inside of the ring. My going for the cover this time. Ref gets into position one, two, but no, Lily Ryan kicks out at two. Rajni with a big German suplex, following it up into a ripcord lariat. Rajni handling business on the outside. Mai handling business on the inside. The alliance between Rajni and Mai is something to see. Lily Ryan going for the powerbomb cover attempt, but Kelsey Mitch breaking up the count. Lauren getting back inside of the ring, grabbing Lily up from behind a silver and beating on Kelsey and gets hit with a backstabber by Lauren. Lauren with the drive-by elbow shot connecting as she goes to the cover. One. Two, but no, Lily Ryan kicks out at two. Rosa Holmes grabbing onto Lauren Mitch. Holmes hits the high kick onto Lauren, taking her down. One, two, but no. Lauren Mitch kicks out at two. My going after Kelsey. Rajni going after Rosa this time. Rajni coming off the middle rope with a single leg drop kick to take down Rosa, going for the cover. Two, but no, Lily Ryan breaking up the count between Mai and Rajni. Rajni stomping down on a Rosa. Lily locking up with Lauren on the outside. Rosa arm dragging Rajni down and Mai spearing Kelsey through the ropes. Lily hitting a German on to Lauren on the outside. Rosa getting picked up by Mai. Mai trying to go for a vertical suplex, but Rosa able to get out of the hold and chopping her legs out from behind. Rajni getting backstabbed by Lily Ryan on the outside. Mai with the drop down face buster and Kelsey Mitch picking her up from behind. Dead lift, bridging German suplex by Kelsey Mitch. Kelsey going after Rosa Holmes. Has Rosa up onto her shoulders. And drops her face first, hitting the sneak eyes. Rajni going after Lily Ryan on the outside. Lily sends Rajni flying over to the opposite side of the arena. 
Kelsey Mitch trying to clear house with the sledgehammer taking down Rosa. Lily hitting the barbed wire kill shots on my. Spins her around, hits a ripcord drop kick onto her. Rajni coming from behind with the electric chair on Lily. Hits a midnight elbow. Rosa getting grabbed from behind by Rajni. My dropping Lily on the outside. Or excuse me, I think that was Lord Mitch. Yeah, Jesus Christ, these multi-man matches, multi-women matches, it's so hard to keep up with who all is who in this fight. Lily's got Lauren up on her shoulders. Hits a fireman's carry slam onto her. Picks her up. The strength on display by Lily Ryan. Slamming down Lauren Mitch. Rajni fighting off Rosa. My sending Lily flying in the guardrail. Kelsey getting grabbed from behind. Gets hit with a drop down neck breaker by Mai. Mai getting Lily back up to her feet. Lily with a nasty lariat taking her down. Rosa going after Kelsey. Kelsey sends her flying face first into the outside apron. Rajni comes around. Slamming Rosa from behind. She's got a sleeper hold in. Rosa looking like she's getting ready to pass out. Lily grabbing Lauren from behind, slamming her down, but no, Lauren able to counter out with a hip toss just in time. Rosa able to get a jawbreaker in on Rajni. Lily hitting an arm drag on to Lauren. My fighting out with Kelsey. Kelsey able to get the advantage. Sends her flying over to the steel steps. Rajni gets sent into the guardrail chest first. Rajni getting jumped by three separate women at the same time and taking every single bit of damage, but she gets right back up to her feet, but Rosa Holmes tries to go for the high kick, but Rajni able to dodge out of the way. Fires off some kicks of her own end to Rosa. Rosa getting up to her feet. Rajni going for the kill. Rajni setting up and hits the Verta Breaker. Rajni goes for the cover. Is this going to be it? One, two. Oh, no. Lily Ryan breaks up the count before it even hits two. Kelsey Mitch kicking down Rajni. Gets grabbed from behind by Lily Ryan. Lily sends her down with a side suplex. Rajni going onto the outside apron. My, oh wait a minute, it looks like My after hitting Lily, she's frozen her in place. Lily is not moving, ladies and gentlemen. Rosa hits the pump kick onto Mai, following it up with her poison Rana. Rajni going after Kelsey Mitch's legs. Hits Rosa up and hits with another vertebraker. Lauren Mitch calling for Mai on the outside, but Mai providing the perfect distraction for Rajni to hit the third vertebraker of the match. Going for the cover on Lauren. Is this going to be it? One, two, but no. Kelsey Mitch making the save. Kelsey going after Rajni, going for the sleeper hold. Are we going to see a submission victory here tonight? Rajni in the bad way. She's nowhere near the ropes, but Mai coming around, making the save for her tag team partner. Rosa is down. Lauren is down. Rajni is down. But Rosa back up to her feet. Mai gets hit with the release suplex by Kelsey. Kelsey with the two-piece kick combo. Going after Mai. Cracks Mai with a super kick, following it up with a straight jacket suplex to take her down. Lily Ryan still frozen in place from Mai's assault. We have no idea what is going on with her. We see Lauren Mitch going after Mai on the outside with the kendo stick. Rajni rolling outside of the ring. Rosa going after Kelsey Mitch. Grabbing that arm, wrenching it back over. Mai kicking the kendo stick out of Lauren Mitch's hand. Has her by the throat, choke slamming her onto the mat. Rosa and Kelsey still battling it out on the inside of the ring. Two-piece combo by Rosa Holmes. Going for the cover, one. And Rajni able to break up the count before it can continue. Springboard elbow shot. Corkscrew into Gary by Mai. Rajni going for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match and in their debut are Rajni and Mai Pitak. Ladies and gentlemen, all six of these women gave us one hell of a show tonight. But tonight was the night for the debuting pair, Rajni and Mai. Congratulations, ladies. You gave us one hell of a show. Here are your winners. The Alliance.
And ladies and gentlemen, up next, we've got an open challenge match with King Leon throwing down the gauntlet and Stanley Sadako answering the call in his debut matchup here on Evolution. Who's walking away with the victory tonight? Let's hit the ring and find out. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From London, England, weighing in at 265 pounds, King Leon! The world King Leon, a man that has known very much success here in the SWF. He was the man to unify the national and intercontinental titles to form the international championship that he has won two times over. This man is the longest reigning intercontinental champion that we've had in the history of the company and is looking to make a comeback in the single scene here on Evolution. And last week, he laid out the gauntlet in an open challenge for anyone in the back to challenge him to a fight here tonight on the 200 subscriber episode of Evolution. And the man he's about to fight, Stanley Savko, was the one to answer the call. to the ring, raining down $100 bills from the ceiling. Man in his debut matchup, making it rain here in the SWF arena tonight. And this game right here is getting ready to challenge in his debut contest. One of the most dangerous men in all of the SWF, King Leon. What are we gonna be seeing from Savko? Well, we're getting ready to find out right now. Get that money, 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 money. All right, folks, getting ready to kick this match off. King Leon, Stanley Savko. Referee signaling both men in their corners, hits the bell, and we're off, and Savko comes charging in with a lariat onto King Leon, but Leon able to block it. Leon sending Savko flying against the ropes. Savko hopping over Leon. Leon dropping him down with a hard headbutt. Leon kicking Savko in the lower back, showing some major aggression, following it up with a top rope moonsault. Leon just dominating Savko in the early stages of this match, grabbing him up by the mouth, just wrenching away on his face, driving him into the mat, and stomping him down in the back of his head. And folks, you gotta wonder what kind of damage that does to Stanley Savko, the man is legally blind in one eye, so he's only got half of his vision. But that doesn't seem to stop him from whipping the legs out from underneath the King Leon. Leon getting kicked in the midsection by Savko. Savko has him up on it with shoulders. Rowing away, just torturing at the lower back, but no, Leon able to fight out of it, and rolling him away with an arm drag. Leon grabbing up Savko. Twisting around on his left arm, dragging him back to the mat, slowing down the pace, stomping down on his shoulder, just demolishing his chest with the stomps and kicks. King Leon was the one to set out the open challenge last week, and Stanley Savko was the man to answer the call. And Savko is having one hell of a time for a debut here tonight against the former two-time international champion and the man with the longest reign with the Intercontinental Championship we have ever seen in the SWF's history. Leon getting assaulted from behind though by Savko. Savko getting Leon picked up by his arm, dragging him down to the mat and hitting the Fujiwara armbar on a Leon. Leon in a bad way here now. Savko wrenching away on that arm. Leon and Savko lock up. Savko getting driven back down to the mat. Leon just grinding his face into the ring mat. Some major aggression from the former champion. Going for the cover. Is this going to be it? One, 
No. Savko kicking out at one. Leon having Savko up on his shoulders, carrying him over to the ropes. He's got him in a powerbomb position. Powerbombing Savko to the outside. <laughs> Jesus Christ, but Savko comes right back up. Firing off shots to Leon, but Leon fires off a shot of his own, spinning Savko, hitting a side suplex on him from behind. Savko getting right back up to his feet, though. Sent flying across the arena with Leon close behind. Leon with the double stop to the chest. Scooping up Savko from the floor. Has him up, sets him back down with a big vertical suplex. Referee's outside count is at four. You'd hate to see this matchup end in a count out. Savko getting his head stomped away on by Leon. Leon getting Savko back up to his feet, making his way back inside of the ring at the count of six. Savko looking like he's knocked out on his feet, but comes back to his senses, locking up with Leon, cracks him from behind with a running shot. Savko getting Leon up. Oh, trying to go for that power bomb, but Leon fighting out of it with the right hands. Leon Savko trading shots. Leon getting launched chest first in the announcer's table, face first into the turnbuckle, and then gets whipped back inside of the ring by Savko. Savko playing up to the crowd. Leon trying to go for a running lariat, but Savko able to dodge out of the way in time, but gets grabbed by the back of his neck, carrying over to the ropes by Leon, but Leon getting fought off with those elbow shots by Savko. Savko sends him flying against the ropes with an Irish whip, cracks him down with a hard elbow shot. Savko starting to put his foot on the gas a little bit, has Leon up, choke slamming him down in the middle of the ring. Leon getting his left leg attacked, that knee driven into the mat. Getting his back and arm stomped on. Savko wrenching away on that right arm, trying to rip it out of its socket. Savko stalking around Leon, grabbing him up by the back of his neck, getting him back up to his feet. Both men lock up in the middle of the ring. Savko sends Leon flying against the ropes, cracks him down with that elbow shot. Savko trying to take advantage, getting Leon back up to his feet once again. Drops him down with a drop kick. And again, just going after Leon. Hits the midsection kick. Pulls him over, has the arms trapped in his hands. And just rowing away, just wrenching onto Leon. But Leon with that elbow shot, flipping Savko off of his back. Leon comes in with the right hand shot. The King's Boot connects. The King's Boot connects. Going for the cover. One, two, but no. Savko kicks out at two. Savko giving the former Intercontinental Champion, the former International Champion, all the former titles that this man has held. One hell of a fight here tonight on Evolution, but Leon saying, screw you, Savko. I'm taking you out at the knee, you half-blind bastard. Going with that drop kick, but gets met with Savko's right hand. Savko grabbing him up. Hits a drop down face buster. Going for the cover. Has the leg hooked. One, two, but no. Leon kicks out at two. Savko's wondering what it's going to take to take down King Leon, but Leon getting. What in the hell are you doing, Savko? He's got the arms trapped, wrenching away. Oh, the. Jesus, I would not want to get put in that kind of position, folks. Savko stomping down on a Leon. Leon getting his left arm grabbed up and just getting stomped all the hell in his face. Savko stomping on that lower back. He's got the leg trapped, stomping away on that upper leg. But Leon booting Savko off the top of him. Savko going to the outside of the ring. Leon right on top of him. Whips him back inside of the ring. Leon going through the ropes, Savko back up to his feet. Savko comes running in, both men collide near the ropes. Savko sends Leon flying and both men again collide. Leon with a snapmare, following it up with a basement drop kick to the back of the head. And Leon biting at the right hand of Savko, what the hell, man. And Leon setting up. Has the double underhooks in. Double underhook suplex connects. 
Leon just stalking around on Asako. Asako getting that left arm just demolished by Leon. And the King's Boot connects once again. Going for the cover. Is this going to be it? One, two. No, it's not. Savko kicks out at two. Leon setting up in the corner. What's he planning to hit here? Oh, he's calling for it. The executioner's knee. The executioner's knee connects. He sees him go down. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is King Leon. And folks, I got to tell you, Stanley Sofko gave Leon one hell of a fight tonight. And in an open challenge match, excuse me, an open challenge match at that. But tonight was the night for King Leon. Congratulations, man. You gave us one hell of a show. Alright ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's next matchup, our semi-main event is a fatal four-way match featuring Leroy Wilberson, T-Bone, Coco Beware, and John Black in a fatal four-way matchup. Which one of these men is going to walk away with the victory here tonight? We're getting ready to hit the ring and find out now. Ladies and gentlemen, Leroy Wilberson making his way to the arena first. Dancing up to the music and the flames go off. This man is so fast, our ring announcer can't even keep up with him. See him go flying into the ring. This man had one hell of an impressive debut last week alongside a team from John Black in that TV title battle royal. Is he going to be able to come out of the way tonight with a victory? We're ready to find out. Last week and was the unfortunate person to be eliminated first in the TV title battle royal but tonight he's got a chance to shine for even longer as it's not over the rope it's only for one fall and it is fatal four-way rules so any one of these men can come away with the win tonight but T-Bone is looking like a good prospect to get his first win here in the SWF Coco Beware, always the fan favorite. This man is a former YouTube champion, X Division champion, and the former television champion. This man is always a sight to see when he hits the ring, and I feel like tonight is going to be another good night for Coco Beware.
422 pounds, John Black! John Black making his way into the ring under the bottom rope. He also was unfortunately eliminated last week in the TV title battle royale. But maybe tonight is going to be the lucky night for this SWF newcomer, John Black. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to kick this match off. Leroy Wilberson, T-Bone, Coco Beware, and John Black. Referee signals the bell, and here we go. T-Bone going after John Black, and Wilberson going after Coco Beware, hitting him with a quick fire DDT. John Black trying to grab at Leroy, but Leroy kicking the legs out from him, spinning around, and a tilt-a-roll arm drag into a Fujiwara arm bar. Oh, <laughs> T-Bone. Wildly kicking away, kicking the ref square in the face, ragdolling Coco over to the referee. It's not even 30 seconds into this match, folks, and the referee is already down. John Black with a springboard elbow shot to take down T-Bone. Wilberson lighting up Black with a super kick, locking the arms up, straight jacket suplex, and Coco Beware hitting a brain buster on the T-Bone and breaking up the count at two for Leroy Wilberson. T-Bone going after Wilberson now. Coco going after John Black. Coco, quick snap suplex on the Black, and T-Bone comes in firing off a right-hand shot onto Coco. And Wilberson sends Coco flying over the top rope of the Lariat. Now T-Bone going after Wilberson as John Black rolls to the outside. Coco beware with the kendo stick in hand. Swinging away, cracking John Black in the back. Wilberson getting demolished on the inside of the ring, but gets a surprise roll up on a T-Bone as he goes for the cover. One. Ah, T-Bone kicking out at one. Coco and John Black trading shots with each other on the outside of the ring. Coco kicking away at John Black's face on the come down. T-Bone holding Wilberson in a crossbody hold, ragdolling him back into the middle of the ring after hitting him in the back on that top turnbuckle. Wilberson. Reversing out of the ground and pound onto T-Bone, but gets hit with a ripcord knee by John Black. Coco Beware comes in inside of the ring with the kendo stick, but Black kicks it out of his hands, grabbing the arm. He's got him trapped up. Oh, beautiful bridging suplex. Nasty looking drop kick by Wilberson on a T-Bone. And Wilberson gets hit with another ripcord knee. The running drop kick connects to the back of T-Bone by Coco. All four of these men are getting each other with every big shot that they've got here in this match so far. Wilberson with an arm drag onto John Black. Coco grabbing on the Black now. And Wilberson firing off a springboard elbow shot that hit both men and T-Bone, taking advantage of Wilberson being down, attacking him from behind. John Black trying to Irish whip Coco beware, but getting caught in the legs of Wilberson. And T-Bone coming into the ring with a sledgehammer, headbutting Wilberson, but Wilberson going for the surprise roll up. John Black, nasty knee shot to the chest of Coco. Wilberson getting grabbed by Black. Black hits the crossroads. And T-Bone rolling up John Black, dead lifting him off the ground into a sit out power bomb. And Coco beware stomping on the legs of Black and Wilberson. Black smart to roll out of the way in the ring. And T-Bone hits the pedigree on a Coco Beware. Coco gets rolled over by T-Bone, Wilberson, and Black both breaking up the count before it can even begin. John Black getting the double underhooks on Wilberson, but Wilberson countering out of it and hits the Alabama slam. Coco gets leveled with a super kick by T-Bone. T-Bone going for the pedigree once again. Pedigree connects on Wilberson. It looks like Wilberson's been busted open with that pedigree. Coco hits the rolling German into the Pele kick, and T-Bone only able to get a two count on Wilberson. Coco only able to get a one count on John Black. T-Bone and Coco locking up with each other. T-Bone hits the standing DDT on a Coco Beware. John Black lighting up T-Bone now. Has him up, sends him down with an exploder suplex, going for the cover. Ref not paying attention, but getting back into the game. One. Two, but no, T-Bone kicks out, denying John Black the victory. Wilberson with a launching release suplex, sending John Black flying almost through the ropes. 
Coco and T-Bone locking up with each other. T-Bone gets whipped around into a hard knee shot to the face. Coco grabbing up onto Wilberson. Nasty poison Rana by Coco, beware. And we see there, folks, up next, the main event of tonight, the SWF Television Championship is on the line between Ron Black and the champ himself, Kenny Mitch. Coco Beware, the former television champion, raining down those sledgehammer shots onto T-Bone, but T-Bone knocking the hammer out of his hands. Wilberson comes in with a spin kick, just attacking Coco and T-Bone at the same time. Wilberson just teeing off onto Coco Beware, hits the Meteora knee to finish him off. Big snap suplex by T-Bone onto John Black. Wilberson going after T-Bone now. Wilberson getting grabbed by Black. Black whipping T Wilberson into T-Bone. T-Bone rolling out of the ring, getting the steps. Wilberson lighting up Black, hits the Meteora knee to finish off the striking fury. Coco knocking the stairs out of T-Bone's hands on the outside, chopping away at his chest. Hits the rolling German and into the Pele combo. Wilberson fighting off John Black. Hits a running sling, sling blade. Following it up with a standing shooting star. You know, folks, I got to tell you, Leroy reminds me a lot of how Coco Beware fights in the ring. A beautiful shooting star press from the top. One, two, but no. John Black kicks out at two. T-Bone attacking Wilberson. Hits the midsection kick, setting him up for another pedigree. The pedigree connects. That's three pedigrees in this match so far. He barely dodged that kettle stick attack from Coco. But Coco able to break out the count before it can even begin. Coco gets level with a high side kick. Leroy with the cover and John Black with the cover. No, both men get their counts broken up. And a spinning tombstone ball driver by Leroy Wilberson takes down John Black. And Wilberson, front rushing leg sweep on a Coco Beware. Now Wilberson has the, oh, he had the kendo stick in hand, but T-Bone lights him up with a super kick. And T-Bone gets dumped to the outside by John Black. Black gets cracked with a jawbreaker by Wilberson. And Coco tried coming off the roast with the Pele, but no one was there to take the impact. But Wilberson able to get a quick fire DDT on to Coco, but gets leveled with the chair shot by T-Bone. Coco back up to his feet. John Black getting back up to his feet. Coco with a nasty rolling elbow shot to take him down. Barely dodging the super kick attempt by John Black. Black with a backstabber on the Coco Beware. Leroy Wilberson getting back inside of the ring now. Coco gets dropped by Black. T-Bone dropping Wilberson chest and neck first on that top rope. Black going crazy with the kendo stick shots. But T-Bone takes it out of his hands. Tilt a roll slam by T-Bone. Leroy trying to go off the ropes for a springboard assault. Counters out of T-Bone's hold, taking him down with a bulldog, going for the cover on a Coco. And Coco barely kicking out at two. This was almost Wilberson's match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Leroy hits the drop down stunner on to Coco Beware, taking him down, following it up with a shooting star press. John Black fighting T-Bone on the outside. Coco Beware getting his face stomped in by Leroy. Oh, wait a minute. Wilberson getting him up to his feet. The spinning roundhouse connects and takes him down. Going for the cover. One, two, but Coco Beware kicks out at two. Ladies and gentlemen, the former television champion will not be denied here tonight. Single leg drop kick to take down John Black. Wilberson trying to take out the legs of T-Bone, but T-Bone just out of reach. Dropping Wilberson with a right hand shot. Coco trying to go for that running pump kick, but Missing by a mile. T-Bone trying to go after Black with Black just out of reach. And John Black has him up. Oh, drop down knee breaker onto the face of T-Bone. Black with the nasty chair shots to T-Bone. Gets the chair knocked out of his hands by Wilberson. Wilberson comes off the roast with a Pele, but nobody was there. Black trying to get up. Coco, but Coco fights out of it, cracks him with a lariat. Coco rolling over John Black now, kicking him over onto his belly and rolling him over to his back to go for the cover. T-Bone and Wilberson, both men getting back inside of the ring. <laughs> Wilberson with a nasty super kick from behind, and Coco sets him up. Tombstone lung buster to Wilberson, and T-Bone going for the cover, picking off the body, but no. 
Coco has him up and sends him back down with a spinning pile driver. Coco beware, stomping down on the T-bone. John Black getting a kendo stick from underneath of the ring. Wilberson gets taken down by T-Bone. John Black leveling Coco with the sidekick. And T-Bone takes out Black with a running lariat in the corner. This crowd tonight is absolutely loving this match, ladies and gentlemen. T-Bone with the sledgehammer inside of the ring going after John Black while Coco Beware and Leroy Wilberson fight each other on the outside. Black going for the cover on T-Bone, but T-Bone kicks out at two. Coco Beware setting up for the kill shot onto John Black. Black's got to look out. Oh, wait a minute. Here it comes. The Tombstone Longbuster connects. Coco goes for the cover. Is this going to be it? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is Coco Beware. Leroy Wilberson taking the bullet for Coco Beware, blocking the shot from T-Bone to break up the count. And the winner of this fatal four-way matchup is the former television champion, Coco Beware. Congratulations, fellas. Y'all gave us one hell of a show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our Friday Night Evolution main event. Ron Black is getting ready to take on Kenny Mitch for the SWF World Television Championship. Who's walking away the winner in tonight's main event? We're getting ready to find out now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Television See Ron Black making his way down to the ring for the second time this evening. This man had a hellacious fight against Alex Jackson in the opening contest of tonight's episode of Evolution. And even though he got the win, he got hit with a very nasty looking low blow by Jackson. But is Black going to be able to capitalize on that win and potentially walk away our new television champion tonight? Well, we'll find out as soon as that bell rings. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the SWF World Television Champion, Perfect Pitch Kenny Mitch. This man outlasted seven others last week on Evolution in order to take his first title in the SWF and to become the third television championship in the title's lineage. And he is now getting ready to make his very first defense against Ron Black here tonight. Is he going to follow the path of the former champions in their defeat in their first defense? Or is he going to break the mold and take home the gold? And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the prize of our main event, the beautiful SWF World Television Championship. Introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 219 pounds, Ron.
and his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 230 pounds. He is the World Television Champion, Kenny Mitchell. Kenny Mitch looking down at his SWF World Television Championship, getting ready to pass it over to the referee. And you see the referee making his way over to Ron Black. Ron Black looking down at that belt, knowing what is on the line and what he's worked for towards tonight as he sees the title raised high above the ring. This crowd is at the edge of their seats. They're ready for the action. The challenger, Ron Black, the champion, Kenny Mitch. Referee signaling both men in their corners, hits the bell, and we're off. And Kenny Mitch comes charging him with a drop kick. But Ron Black grabs him by the neck and hits a quick fire DDT. Mitch holding up his guard, gets launched around into a shoulder check by Ron Black. But Mitch gets back up to his feet. Both men locking up in the middle of the ring. Mitch getting a kick to the midsection. Sends Black flying over to the corner with an Irish whip. And Kenny sends Black chest first in the turnbuckle, but Black fights back with an elbow shot and it gets a running DDT. The champion, Kenny Mitch, getting dominated so far in this match. Big release German suplex by Ron Black. Black trying to go after the legs of Kenny, but Kenny able to get up to his feet in time. Oh, nasty cross base lock. It's locked in on the Kenny Mitch. Is Mitch gonna tap out? Mitch trying to fight at the grip of Ron, but rolls him off the top of his back. Hits him in the midsection with the kick. Nasty super kick goes off and locks the arms up into a straight jacket suplex. We saw Kenny Mitch's sisters hit the straight jacket suplex earlier on this evening in the women's triple threat tag team match, and it had some good effect for them. But Ron Black rolls up the champion for the one count, but Kenny Mitch kicks out. Ron Black comes swinging wildly with a running lariat, but just comes short of Kenny Mitch. Mitch dodging out of the way of Ron Black strikes, but unable to dodge out of the way of that lariat that time. But Mitch quick to get back into his feet. Pulls a crossbody holding. Ragdolls Ron Black back into the middle of the ring. Going for the cover. One. Two. But no. Ron Black kicks out once again. Mitch kicking down and stomping on Ron Black. Dead lifting off the ground. And into a sit out power bomb. Kenny Mitch fighting like a man possessed now, trying to keep that World Television Championship around his waist, just hammer fisting down on the Ron Black. But Black fires off a quick kick to the face of the champion, stomping him down on the back of his head. Kenny Mitch slow to get up to his feet. Ron Black taking advantage, hits another DDT. Kenny Mitch slowly trying to get back up to his feet. Trying to recover from some of the damage been done to him by the challenger, Black. But Black gets the midsection kick. He's got the arm trapped. Oh, arm trap brain buster by Ron Black. Going after the legs now. He's got that right. Oh, God, that left knee just gets demolished with that stomp. But Kenny Mitch comes firing up with an elbow shot. Hits a right hand shot. Comes off the ropes. Big springboard drop kick to take down Ron Black. Black getting pulled up to his feet. Getting kicked and elbowed all to hell. Nasty uppercut by Kenny Mitch. Mitch sends him flying against the ropes. Both men locking up with each other. Mitch with a rolling Larry to take down Ron Black as Black tries to roll outside of the ring. Kenny Mitch going up to the top rope. What's he planning to hit here to the outside? Ron Black dodges out of the way just in time to get out from the flying tackle and hits a code breaker to bust open the champion. Following that up with a rolling senton onto Kenny Mitch on the outside. Referee's count on the outside is at two. Nasty looking submission hold on the outside by Black onto Mitch. And it's not a false count anywhere in the match, ladies and gentlemen. If you want the win, it's gotta be inside of the ring. Kenny Mitch whipping Ron Black around and driving those knees into his left arm. Mitch getting Black back up to his feet. Black getting scooped up onto the shoulder of Kenny Mitch. Mitch Sends him face first onto the guardrail on the outside, but Black gets the boots up to get Mitch off the top of him. Both men locking up. Mitch sends the champion careening into the guardrail, just collapsing him down. Sending those right hand shots into the side of Mitch's head. Ron Black getting Mitch back up to his feet. The referee's outside count is at seven. Black. Just lighting up Kenny Mitch and both men running back inside of the ring at the count of eight. The fight continues. Black 
Oh, Black tried to go for a fallaway slam, but Kenny Mitch just a little bit too much for him in that moment. And a code breaker connects by Kenny Mitch. It looks like it took out so much of him just to be able to get that desperation code breaker off. But Black, quick to get back up to his feet, the champion, stunned and unbelieving that, oh God, the lumbar check connects. Ron Black goes for the cover. Is this gonna be it? One, two, but no, the champion will not be denied. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Mitch kicks out at two. Ron Black furiously stomping away on the face of Kenny Mitch. Mitch able to roll out of the way in time. Gets a running leg to take down Black. Ron Black getting back up to his feet with some assistance from Kenny Mitch. Mitch hits the nasty roundhouse kick going for the cover. One, two, but no, Ron Black denies the champion the victory tonight. Kenny Mitch going back up to the top rope. Is he gonna have some more success with this attempt? Big elbow drop from the top to the outside. Kenny Mitch getting Black back up to his feet, but Black whips the legs out from underneath the Kenny. Follows it up with a senton, but Kenny Mitch able to get the knees up in time. Takes down Black with a running kick. Black getting his right arm targeted and assaulted with that stomp by Mitch. Mitch getting Black back up to his feet, but once again, Mitch not suspecting the leg sweep to happen and Black taking advantage, slamming him back of his head into the mat. Both men locking up as Mitch gets rolled back inside of the ring by Black. Outside count is at six now. Black gets back in the ring at the count of seven. The count ends and the fight continues. Kenny Mitch gets taken down with a lariat. Gets taken down with a second lariat. Tries to go for a hit of his own, but gets leveled with a super kick by Black. Ron Black getting the champion back up to his feet. Sends him flying over to the corner with an Irish whip. Slowly stalking over to the television champion, but Kenny Mitch fires off an elbow shot out of the corner. Kenny Mitch sending him down and out with that slam. And it looks like Kenny Mitch is setting up for the kill shot here. Is this gonna be it? The high roundhouse kick connects and Kenny Mitch goes for the cover. One, two, but no. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Black kicked out. Kenny Mitch so furious he had to do a backflip. And Kenny goes flying with the tope suicida to the outside. The world television champion is on an absolute rager tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ron Black getting Kenny Mitch scooped up onto his shoulders, but Mitch able to reverse out of the hold, chopping the legs out from underneath the Ron Black. Kenny hitting the drive-by elbow to the lower back, getting his way back inside of the ring. Oh, wait a minute, he's going right back up to the top row. Kenny, what are you planning on doing? Kenny comes up with the flying splash. Shades of Jimmy Superfly snooker right there to the outside. Kenny getting the nasty ground and pound, hammering in those elbow shots and just trying to do as much damage to Black on the outside as he can. Black gets taken down with a double leg. Kenny just furiously hammer fisting away on him. Black barely able to defend himself on the outside. Kenny. Locking up those legs, rolling over Black. You see Black clutching at his knees. It might be damaged there. And Kenny sends Black flying inside of the ring. And once again, heading up to the top rope. We've seen him go for the elbow drop. The Superfly Splash, oh! Tries to go for the elbow drop once again, but he misses by a mile. But comes up swinging at Black in the midsection, but Black fights back with a kick. These men not giving a single inch in this match. Oh, the roundhouse kick goes off. Kenny Mitch goes for the cover. Is this gonna be a two, three, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this match and still your SWF World Television Champion is the perfect pitch, Kenny Mitch, with a successful first defense of his new World Television Championship. And folks, I got to tell you, Ron Black gave us one hell of a night tonight and the champion, one hell of a fight. Congratulations, boys. You gave us one hell of a main event. Here is your winner and still world television champion, Kenny Mitchell. We see Kenny Mitch raising that title high and proud, blood pouring down his forehead knowing that he was successful in his defense on Evolution tonight. Our 200 subscriber special. This man 
came in as champion and is walking out as champion, and I think you couldn't ask for more. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being able to tune in with us tonight. We appreciate the love and support you give our people every single week that you all tune in, and we love all the love and support that you guys give us. Kenny Mitch roaring to the crowd with success. And folks, that's it for tonight's episode. I want to thank you all so very much for watching. We appreciate the love and support. Without you guys, we wouldn't have hit 200 subscribers. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I'm really glad that you guys enjoy what we're putting out. And I'm still trying to improve every single week with every episode that I put out for you guys to give you all the best pro wrestling show that is available to see on YouTube for free. But that's all I've got for now, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan Smith, the voice of SWF Pro Wrestling. This has been the 200 subscriber special for Friday Night Evolution. And we'll see you guys next time right here. Good night, everybody.